Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I am going to open up the August Book Box Club box. Uh, Book Box Club run a YA subscription service. This uh, is a monthly service. They run this full box for you in which you get the book of the month and lots of additional goodies and also uh, they do a purely book service where you just get the book that's included and they also now run a middle grade service and um, where you can actually make a subscription for a young person in your life. Uh, I'll leave the link to their website down below so that you can go and check them out. Like I say, it is a monthly service and they, but you don't have to take it every month. If you are feeling like you need a month's break or maybe you're not liking the sound of a theme for a month, then you can always skip a month. Um, they are based in the UK, so I know there's lots of uh, UK um, <clears throat> readers out there that don't subscribe to boxes because they come from America and it's quite costly to, to do that. So first things first, I'm going to open the box. It's not very successful doing it on camera, so here we go. And the first thing that you have on the top is your invitation to the book club meeting. Uh, so alongside giving you a book, they run a book club meeting every month. So August's book club will be in September. I'm not gonna open this now, like it says, open me last. That's because it has the spoiler for the book inside it. And then you have the spoiler card. I'm just gonna cover up the book. So as you can see, August is Moonlit Melodies. On the back of this card, it has all of the items that are in the box and who made them um, from the look of this spoiler card it looks quite dreamy quite romantic so i'm really intrigued by what the book might be this month now and then the third thing that you get on the top is the actual book itself i'm going to open it last i'm not going to open it straight away but they always put in the box last so it's the first thing you take out it does feel like a hardback book this month um instead of a paperback uh there's no, I have no preference. I don't know why I said it like that, um, but I'm looking forward to opening it. And then the next thing you get in the box is all the packing material. So I'm just going to take, I'm not going to bother taking it out. I'm just going to try and dig my way through and find everything. <clears throat> so, oh, 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 this is right up my street. So this is a door hanger. Uh, go away, I'm sleeping go away i'm reading guess which side i'll use more often but it's got cats coffee music books teddy bears um pens yes this is very much me so this is definitely oh oh that's sweet oh actually on the go away i'm sleeping side the cat's asleep and the teddy bears wow and you've got your little rabbit slippers down the bottom this is so cute this is so cute i'm definitely i've wow <laughs> I don't necessarily need to uh, read this or use this. I do live with a reader, um, another reader, so uh, I don't need to use the go away and reading side. And if the door's shut, my mum knows not to come in because I'm probably sleeping. Uh, so I need to find somewhere to display this. Uh, but this is lovely. I really, really love this. Uh, I should say at the end of the video, I will actually go through the spoiler card and tell you who has made all these wonderful items. Ooh. So the next thing out of the box is this pack of stickers. Now I need to have a look and see what they'll be suitable for. Uh, but um, I may, you may have seen me hold up my Kindle before. I don't think I can actually get it right now. Um, but I've actually covered my Kindle case with a load of stickers. Um, and I have some on the side of my bookshelf as well where I've run out of room on my Kindle case. Uh, but I'm always looking for new stickers to, to decorate things with. So those are really lovely. They look quite space themed. No, no, you've got a moon and a star. A star. Oh. Yeah, so they are quite spacey themed, but then this looks like a little purse and a flower and a butterfly. So, yeah, I'll um, look forward to opening them up and looking at them closer later on. Oh, wow. Oh. So 
they've sent this card through which has got a list of albums i'm not sure where they are to but it's it's by a company called the bookshopband.com um and it looks as though they oh wow yeah it look it looks as though they put together albums based on literary works of literary fiction um so this one is inspired so they've got before i crack which is inspired by midnight's children by salman rushdie the spinning heart inspired by the spinning heart by donald ryan curiouser and curiouser inspired by alice in wonderland by lewis carroll declaration two inspired by caroline um, by Cornelius Medvey and 13 Chairs, inspired by 13 Chairs by Dave Shelton. Um, and then it's got you some download details on the back. So I love listening to music while I'm reading. So I look forward to actually downloading that and having a look and seeing and going onto their website and seeing what else they've got available. Because um, I really do enjoy listening to music while I'm reading and, and uh, just blocking out any background noise, any other background noise as well. So thank you very much. So then the next thing is this rather delightful looking pouch. Uh, it's a zipper pouch. So you can pop it in your bag. You can you can put little things in there. It's canvas, so it's not going to be waterproof. Um, but you can just maybe put little bits and pieces, maybe pop your phone in there to protect it. And on the front, it says, close your eyes and let the music set you free. Uh, so very much a music theme this month and I'm I'm really loving this theme. Uh, I, I do love this little pouch. They've done pouches before and I do use them. Um, so I'm looking forward to popping that in my in my bag. And then it looks as though the next thing is an edible. I do love it when they put edible um, items in the box. Uh, they are very, very careful about picking edible items and I don't think I've had anything yet that I haven't been able to consume. Um, so this is a little biscuit and on the icing it's got imprinted into it, midnight snack. Uh, so that probably will be a midnight snack tonight. Um, and I'll see how we do with that one. And on... A self-care theme because I think we all need it now uh, we've got this a self-heating eye mask um, and it says on the back it will transport you to another dimension relieving tiredness eye strain and many other earthly tensions the warmth comes alive as soon as you open it so make sure you're fully reclined and ready for liftoff so I am um, I do love my little self-care items um, I plan on having a bath later on today so I'm probably gonna pop that on while I'm in the bath so thank you very much. Look forward to using that one as well. Lots of very usable items in the uh, in the box this month. Uh, sometimes I find that you don't always get things that are usable. So and then in the the bottom of the box again, you just get little advertising bits. So this one is looking like it's advertising uh, books by Joe Spurrier. So Daughter of Lies and Ruin and A Curse of Ash and Embers. So I'll go and check those out. Um, they sound like the sort of thing that I would enjoy reading. And then, oh, 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 oh. Now I've been seeing this absolutely everywhere, so I'm really glad to have this. Um, as part of the advertising pack, we've got this little sampler of Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron. I've been seeing this absolutely everywhere. It's all over Instagram. Um, I haven't seen it much yet on YouTube, but it's starting to appear. But uh, I'm just really intrigued now because everybody's talking about it. So I'm really pleased to have this little sampler so that I can actually have a little read and see if it is up my alley and if there is something that I want to, to carry on with. So thank you very much. So that was all the items in the box this month. The final thing to do is to unwrap the book. Uh, so here we go. I'm never very good at this. And... I'm probably going to wreck this lovely paper, but hey-ho. Let's see what the book...
Oh, pretty cover. Oh. Oh, so the book is Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. I haven't actually heard of this book at all. Uh, on the back it says, A Fiddle Made of Secrets, A Song to Raise the Dead. And it's been burped by Claire Legrand, um, a gorgeous, creepy gem of a book. Uh, and it's got this, wow, so this is obviously wood. The more you look, the more you see. So there's all these flowers, the bees, there's a snake at the bottom here. And at the top it says, some secrets aren't meant to stay buried. I'll have to um, have a look. So you get um, a signed book, book plate from the author so that you can stick that in if you wish. I don't always do it, uh, but for some of them I do. So I'm just going to read the blurb to you to see, because I've never heard of this book, so I have no idea what it's about. If I could have a fiddle made of daddy's bones, I'd play it. I'd learn all the secrets he kept. Shady Grove is her father's daughter through and through. She inherited his riotous curly hair, his devotion to bluegrass, and his ability to call ghosts from the grave with his fiddle. That cursed instrument drowned with him, though when his car went off the road, taking with it the whispering ghosts, nightmares and the grief and obsession that forced her daddy to play. But Shady's brother was just accused of murder, and so she has a choice to make. Unearth the fiddle and the nightmares that sang her father to the grave so she can speak to the dead and clear her brother's name, or watch the only family she has left splinter to pieces. The ghosts have secrets to keep, but Shady will make those old bones sing. Wow. That's uh really does sound right up my street this month um so a little bit of a uh, little bit of mystery in terms of the the murder a uh, little bit of magic with the fiddle um and a little bit of uh, fantasy a little bit of the fantastical so i'm looking forward to reading that as it's a hardback you have to take the cover off and have a look and it's this beautiful green uh, with this really pretty pink. I don't know if that's coming up so well, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink colour. Uh, so I'm looking forward to adding that one to my TBR very, very soon. I'm getting to the point where I'm getting a bit behind uh, with the books now, so I really do need to start reading them at some point. Um, and I need to stop buying as well. But yes, looking forward to reading this one. Thank you very much, Bookbox. Um, I'll just have a read through the spoiler card and I will tell you where everything came from. So the door hanger is by Matthew Taylor Wilson and you can find him at matthewtaylorwilson.com. Uh, so have a look and check out what else he does. It's, this, it's gorgeous. It's all made of wood. It's beautiful. I, I absolutely love this. Now, reading the spoiler card, I'm really ashamed of myself that I didn't get this, but this beautiful pouch is inspired by Phantom of the Opera. I adore Phantom of the Opera, so I, I'm really, really annoyed with myself that I didn't get that. But anyway, the pouch was made by Catherine Laskley, and uh, she has an Etsy shop. Um, so you can find her on etsy.com slash UK slash shop slash Catherine Lashley. I will link all these down below for you uh, so that you can go and check them out for yourself. So the Midnight Snack Cookie was made by M&H Cakes and again you can find them at mnhcake.co.uk um, It's actually a vegan biscuit as well so like I say uh, Book Box Club are very very good at um, choosing their food responsibly it's always nut free, it's always vegan um, so it does cover pretty much everybody that would want to have something from edible from this box. So the moon stickers, these are all moon stickers. Um, they are by Happy Mouse Studio. And again, you can find them on Etsy. Their shop name is Happy Mouse Studio. And then the interstellar mask is by Space Masks. And you can find them at spacemasks.com, obviously. I don't I shouldn't have needed the car spoiler card for that really should I but there we go um so the mask is from spacemask.com uh and I'll open that up like I say later when I want to rest and relax and then if you want to check out the bookshop band they are at thebookshopband.com like I say they make music uh based 
inspired by books. So that was everything in the August Moonlit Melodies box from Bookbox Club. Do you subscribe to any book boxes? If you do, let me know down below, especially if they're UK ones. I'm always interested in finding more. I do know about uh, Fairy Loot, um, but other smaller book boxes, I'd like to see if I'd be interested in supporting. Um, so let me know down below. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.